Hello, Mrs. Johnson's class. Hello, Today we are working on 6.1 line plots, and we are reading, interpreting, and analyzing a line plot, yes? Yeah. You guys know what a number line is, don't you? Yeah. A number line actually makes up this thing called a... Line plot. Yeah, it's a number line that shows what, though, on a line plot? The frequency It shows the frequency of something. And guys, what does frequency mean? Go ahead, just say it. Yeah, yeah, how often something happens, how much, how many times. You guys good with that? Yeah. This thing right here, frequency table, we're going to see it in a little bit. A frequency table is just a way to organize data, and we'll talk about that in a second. What's this thing right here? Well, that's a number line, right? But a number line is part of a line plot, yes? And we have these tick marks. You guys, the tick marks have numbers below them, don't they? What does like this number represent? I know it represents three and a half, but what are we talking about? Three and a half what? Miles. Miles of what? Ah, oh. so like how far kids live from Forest Hills, right? Yeah. So we have three and a half miles. How many kids live three and a half miles from Forest Hills? Four. How do you know that? Ah, oh, there's four data points plot there, right? Four X's. How many kids live no miles from Forest Hills? Zero. Well, there's no information there, right? Okay, cool. Sometimes we actually have a data table. So I said oh, I'm going to come back and talk about a data table, or in this case, a frequency table. You guys are with me here? I should be up on the screen. We're talking about throwing a ball. And we're talking about how far kids can throw a ball using what label? Yes. And then this would be the frequency right there, right? So we have three kids can throw the ball less than 10 yards, right? How many kids can throw the ball between 20 and 29 yards? We took this data, or this frequency table, and we made a line plot. Yes? Yeah. Notice how there's five kids that can throw the ball between 10 and 19 yards? You notice that? Yes. How many kids does it say down here can throw the ball between 10 and 19 yards? Five. It should match, right? Yes. It should match. How many kids can throw the ball more than 29 yards? Two. And what does it tell us down here? Two. So could I get the same information by just looking at that? Yes. As by just looking at that? We good? Yeah. 